G'day everyone and welcome to another Mother's Day card tutorial today. Thank you for stopping by and I hope you are having a great crafty day. Now I am going to make, uh, as I mentioned, a Mother's Day card. I'm going to use some Kayser Craft paper. I've just pulled out uh, a pack. This is a six and a half uh, inch paper pack and I'm going to use the spotted green one here as a bit of a background. So I'll just rip that out. I've also got some uh, different shades of pink cardstock here. I've also got this die here and it's from AliExpress. Now it does measure a 13 and a half centimeters by roughly five and a half centimeters. And I'm actually going to layer this die, okay, using these colors here. I've also got a Mother's Day stamp here. Now, we'll link all the products over on my website and that link to my website will be listed below. So I've got my base of my card here, which I just need to score down the middle. I'm going to actually mount this on some black cardstock here and these will be layered on top so stick around and I hope this finds some inspiration for you as well. So I'm just going to cut all my cards up and just score my base of the card just so it's all ready. So the black piece of cardstock here will actually be the base um, or the mounting card so I do want that little bit of black peeking through around the outside and everything else I will measure to the same size or a couple of millimeters will be left around the outside so that black will peek through so I'm just uh, cutting out the pinks here to the length that I want <music> So I'm just going to check the cardstock to the die here just to make sure that I'm happy with it. I will need to actually just trim off a little bit, but you'll see that uh, down the track. So I'm just going to run this through my uh, Kayser Craft die cutting machine um, and I'll do exactly the same for the lighter pink also. So this is where I'm just going to get my scissors and just trim off that little bit there. I'm just going to stamp my Mother's Day sentiment on some white cardstock here with some black versifying ink and I'll clear emboss that uh, also to finish it off. So I'll just use some double sided adhesive tape just to glue these two bits together. Now I do want them overlapping, the dark pink will show through underneath the lighter pink. So 
So just using double sided adhesive again and just lining up my sentiment on the front of the card. Now I'm just going to hide the uh, sentiment bottom here just with some pink ribbon and first of all I'll just make sure that my um, card here is all just trimmed up. I'm just going to put some adhesive tape down and I'll release that and then the ribbon will actually stick to the adhesive and that will cover up the join from the sentiment to the flower die here. just checking just to make sure that everything is going to line up the way that I want it and then I'll glue or I'll use double sided adhesive just to stick all my layers down. Finishing it off with some Nuvo crystal drops and once again just using um, two different types of colours. So I've got one here Sweet Lilac and another one that is Plum Pudding. But after I actually put these on I just wasn't happy with the Nuvo crystal drops. So I actually swapped to putting on some sequins onto the front of the card. Now I haven't used sequins for ages and I was more happier using the sequence than the dew drops. So to get the dew drops off you just scrape them off basically and I just replaced them with the sequence and that covered any blemishes on the card. So that's my Mother's Day card finished for today. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, please give me your thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing to my channel. And if you do, don't forget to hit that notification bell. And until next time, everybody, happy crafting. See ya.